what's up guys my name is Ben from crazy cubing today I'm going to be solving this diamond Rubik's cube so um, this is going to be like a can I solve video um, however I have already solved this cube so it will probably be more like just a walkthrough solve tutorial kind of thing so Anyways, I'm going to mix this up, and then we can get right into it. So, here we go. Alright, so on this cube, I am going to solve the gray side first, because there is no white. So, first off, we look for a piece that um, you see where it's supposed to go. So, this piece has orange and gray on it. So that piece is definitely going to go there. And then we can find another piece like this blue one in gray. That piece is also definitely going to go there. And then we have to find a piece, an edge piece with green and gray, which it looks like this piece will actually be that edge. Um, yes, it will be. And the reason why it also has orange on it, which is a little confusing because edges usually have two colors but these edges have three so the reason why that is is because this diamond shape is going to go up to here also so now we just have to find the last piece gray and red which is right here there it is and that's gonna go there it also has three colors so we're done with the cross this is the cross so now we have to look for a corner so let's see I think this corner is actually going to go in there because we see gray and then orange and blue so this has gray and orange and blue so we can actually just insert that corner in and yes it does fit so then we look for the next corner this one has gray and orange and blue this one I don't think will go in there but I think there will be just an all blue piece like this that will go in there. So I think it's right here. That's a corner piece. So let's see if this fits into there. All right, there we go. There's that blue corner in, and that one also fits. So next we find this gray corner, and we can put that in. And then this orange corner also has, it's just an all orange corner. So you can put that one in also. So we have the first layer done here. It looks very weird, but trust me, this is the first layer. So now we move on to the middle layer. Um, so we look for an edge piece that needs to go right here. So that's the orange and green, and this piece does look like it's going to go there. So we can put that right in, and then we can, there's a, uh, hmm, actually I don't think any of these pieces work. This one does though, so because it has blue and orange, and then that gray is going to go there also, so we can put that in. Alright, next we need the blue and red maybe, yep, it looks like it's going to be this one. This one has blue and red. And then the last one, red and green. And it should be in the top layer right here, maybe? Yep, I think that's going to be it. Because we have yellow here, so there's going to be a little bit of yellow going up there. So we can put that in. And now we have the first two layers done. So next, we look for the cross. And it's going to be yellow. So we actually already have the cross because if you can see all this yellow is already facing up. So we don't do not need to do the cross on this scramble. Um, okay, now we look for two edges that are in the right place. This one and this one. And then now they're all in the right place. And finally we look for the corners and find one that's in the right place so none of them are so we can just do this algorithm from any angle and then there's one that's in the right place so 
There we go, and here we go. Now we just have to orient both of these corners, so. There we go, and there we go. Now it is back to a solved position. So it looks like a diamond, right? But it's actually just a three by three. So, yep, that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. Um, maybe what I could do better for the next tutorial or video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.